<laughs> Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. Say something. Something. Something fun. Something fun. Uh, hashtag palette of parts. So we got left side pretty much all stripped down. Right side will be stripped down here in just a second. And then we'll have the rear diff out of here. I don't know, before we shut down today. It's late afternoon, mid afternoon. 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, something like that. Anyway, so yeah. So before we call it a day, we'll have this thing up underneath so we can start wire wheeling and painting tomorrow. All right, so it's been a successful afternoon for Garrett and I. This is most of the things that have come out. What say ye, Hot Rod? So she's done. Let's say we're at a stopping point. Got some leaf springs to take out. We got some sweeping to do. We got some ragweed on the radio. We'll touch base tomorrow. It's hot. What do you got there? Oh, you know, two thousand dollars worth of batteries. You gotta check these out. What you got in the box? Himes and Uniballs for our badass radius arms.
perch is all welded in and our pinion angle set at 22 and a half degrees and we welded the uh, rear truss attaching points onto the back uh, we've got to set the position for our rear lower shock mounts so what Clint and I have done here is we've got the shocks hanging on the upper mounts that's all oriented properly already and we've got the weight of the chassis on the springs right this second uh, but in order to get this to jive we're gonna lower this dude and show you guys all the wheel travel We be drilling. We drilling. We drilling. There's some bumper mounting brackets. These guys. We had to clearance a spot for them. Uh, that is so you can access the nut for the rear shackle. Because with the lift that we have from our um, rear shackle hangers, it uh, it puts it in the way of that. That it wasn't normally back in the day. But that's what happens when you lift stuff, and there's no such thing as a bolt on. <clears throat> As you can see, the front end's all buttoned up. We did have to get red spring isolators. Unfortunately, that's all that was available. But our limit straps are on, our shocks are good. We need to zip tie this brake line right here. <clears throat> and then we'll be in good shape. That'll keep that off of the shock shaft. Up top, we've got to swap out the power steering pump and AC bracket and the steering shaft. We do have the new redhead steering box in. We're also gonna mount a set of KC Cyclones up here on the hood. So he's got some lighting when he's off in the bush and needs to work on something. Same thing on the passenger side. And then while Clint and Garrett get that stuff finished up and I'm all set up with all my stuff to start doing gears. Got me a relatively clean work surface. Got my rear end on the stand. And, uh, and then we got our, our press. Of course, one of my favorite additions to the press, the air over hydraulic jack, the rolly casters, the handle holder, and uh, just, having, just having everything right here. And when you're doing gears, the best thing to do is put them in the freezer. We got dog sickles, we got boo boo packs, but we got gears, we got bearings, we got powered popsicles. If you guys are working in the summer and you don't have powered popsicles, you're wrong. We get rolling on that deal. I've also got to run go get some bolts for those rear bumper brackets real quick. These bearings right here. Um, there's a there's a slide hammer attachment for uh, pulling those bearings. It goes in and like turns and locks and one of those. I'm gonna go grab one of those. I've needed them before. Uh, but since I gotta go to town and get bolts anyway, I'll run by uh, our local tool provider and grab some of those. So you guys stick along for the ride. Yeah, horizontal way up, just like your super. Yeah, yeah.
gets here with his torque wrench. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Double checking all the fasteners and paint mark and everything so we know it's torqued. Clint's over here with his face shield poking holes. And I'm gonna go get him some bolts while this diff finishes draining its schmutz out. Because uh, I'm gonna have to use a puller to pop this guy off. Normally these dry flanges will kind of just pop off, but uh, this one's fighting me. So anyways, I've got the puller, but it's eight o'clock, store opens. I gotta run to the stove. Please don't pop off. It's all good until it hits me in the face. Damn it! Hey, it's cool. This puller now is uh, permanently half and strap, so that's cool. And this is why, kitties, you don't want to just over goop the shit out of your silicone. More is not better. This is not the way. All right, so out with the 355s, in with the 456s. All right, guys, excuse the fan noise. Um, it's hot. Um, so when you pull your pinion bearing off, there's supposed to be a shim in here, and whoever was in here last time didn't have one. Uh, they decided, excuse me while I drop this, of course it doesn't matter, it's all useless. They decided they would put the pinion shim here as a washer for the, the no, no, no. Wrong with y'all! Okay gang, just so you know, we didn't pull any camera tricks. We did have to switch batteries. Here's our marking compound. All right, we're just gonna let this silicone tack up a little bit. Uh, these are 456s and a Detroit True Track. You guys can see our coast pattern and our drive pattern. Should be in pretty good shape. We got, uh, what do we have? Eight and a half thou backlash? Yeah, we wound up. Yeah, depending upon where you're at on the gear, it's about seven and a half to eight thou. Um, so. Uh, we're just gonna let this silicone tack up a tick. Garrett's gonna get his curl on. 
sequence in drink mode. tea drinking mode. Yep, ice. Ice, ice ass, baby. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna slap this dude on. Put you on the tripod. Got a little squish. Squeak. That's what's up. And I like big fill plugs, and I cannot lie, because it allows you to do a gear inspection when you're doing fluid service. All right, we're gonna bolt this dude up, and we're gonna throw it back in the truck. After eight days in the air, I don't know how much lift he wound up with, but it sure looks like he's doing the part now with the wheel and the That is absolute max. Here, look, look at this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, boy. Okay, we'll get it outside, get some beauties here shortly, but. She's pretty rowdy. I like it. Well done, gentlemen. Well done, well done, well done. Power string pump, some underhood lighting, some bracketry. Oh, power string cooler. Actually, it's a transmission cooler. We're gonna use it a power string cooler because this has got a big old training cooler on it already. Uh, we gotta bleed the brakes. We gotta align. Then we gotta build exhaust. We gotta shake it down. We gotta jump it. Can't uh, can't can't build something like this and not jump it. How's the list? Oh. Yeah. Well, let's mark some stuff off. Oh, we got cab mounts to do too. Look at there. Shafts. Gears. We got a lube. We have lube joints. We got to lube the diffs. Okay. ET lug nuts. You know what? We don't actually, I don't think we actually need them. Because we bought the longer studs. Yep. Drums are good. E brake adjust. So. E brake adjust. Okay. And then eyeball alignment. We've done that. Seeing so we don't have a steering shaft yet. I mean, we have it, it's just not in. Had to put it down. All right, rock and roll. On to the next day. It's been a, been a long one, not quite so hot. It's only like 94, 95? Oh, 91. 91? 91, hell, that's cheating. All right, so. You guys have seen what all we've done. Now we gotta see if it'll move under its own power. It's gonna have to get an alignment, and uh, more importantly, it's gonna need some shakedown. So, first thing, let's back it out, see how it does, and uh, make sure it'll stop, make sure it moves under its own power still, and uh, then we'll see you guys on the next episode. Clint, you're pretty sure this is gonna stop, right? The house will catch you. The house will catch you.